Yo, 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 what's up? This is your boy, Ray Rashid here. This, this is, I wish I could say, I did, I mean, I created this shirt by myself, but I got it from work, working in, working my, working my bum off. I mean, working hard just to get more money from my company and make my supervisor very happy. And that's the secret of life, guys. To The secret to life is to make your boss very happy. And, and then he say, oh, thank you, Ray. Thank you for um, your, your, your energy. Thank you for your time. I really... This even like Saturday, Saturday, this past weekend's events couldn't happen. I got a thank you, thank you email from my boss at the um, at the Panam Center. There was a very important swim. The provincial championships of the swim meetup in uh, the Panam Center, and uh, I volunteered there, kind of like showcasing my work. <laughs> um, it was a success. Now, now I'm interested in. In pursuing that, um, that swimming championships like professionally, so I can get um, more money. The goal is to make more money out of the um, the the provincial uh, the provincial swim championships, and and go for diving Canada. You know, like make a make a make a fabulous income with with that with um with the professional team Canada. That's the goal I'm working towards. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this city of Ontario, you have to work for what you got. Um. Yeah, so it's a good, good morning to all my subscribers. And um, what else? The Blue Jays won last night, uh, six to three. Randa Grichik had the longest home run in Major League Baseball history, 471 meters. Next to the, the train tracks of the Houston Astros and the, the train set. <laughs> and last night, Bug Martinez and Pat Habler were joking. Or, or I was making a a joke that the that hit it or it hit the oranges because in the trains in the trains that they have in in Houston there's a four hundred and seventy one feet I mean. I guess it was feet. It was still long. It ended up um, on the top of the train set. <laughs> like it, <coughs> it hit, it hit the World Series banner of the Houston Houston Astros. <laughs> Like because 
because one never the train one never the Houston team made a home run. And that's a very good idea. And I think the Blue Jays should adopt it. The you know, like um like get something for the fans to be excited. Like um, like I would be the I mean get that train and that would boost up the Blue Jays attendance if you do something for the children to make them smile more. Um and the second home run no way did the second home run was hit by my by my new favorite player, Curtis Grandison. I mean that guy is a good player. Thumbs up if you agree with my liking of Curtis Grandison. I mean maybe maybe I will get some maybe I would try to go to a game or I can try and meet all the Blue Jays players because I <clears throat> because I've been lucky. I've been what's what's up with my voice? I don't know why it's so hoarse. But anyways I'm trying to say I've been lucky in the past and and yeah, I'm lucky. I'm a lucky man. <laughs> I've met I've met the most important the Toronto Blue Jays legend in the Panam Games and um and the whole of the Toronto Toronto um Toronto Rock team. I've been I've been the luckiest man on planet Earth because I've met all these legends and players and I've also met the entire Maple Leafs. Not in person, but as a part of my job. Um if the Toronto Maple Leafs visited Maple Leaf Gardens. They had an open community practice. And that was the first time I've seen and I've caught Mitch Mitch I mean not Mitch no. Um I saw Mitch Marner and uh, I saw them practicing. They held a community practice. It was like a, a free event, <laughs> my colleague told me. But I said, how much do I get paid? I just found out that in Masala I made $550.78. Yes, baby, yes! I made, I made that big dough. I made some big dough, baby. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited. Because, heck, with sports, you can make big money. A billion dollars if you work in, like the WWE. And I want that job. So, I hope, knock on wood, I hope I get blessed again and <laughs> blessed enough to see Stephanie McMahon. No chance, because that's what you got. <laughs> um, I'm like a fanboy, but my passion for sports is like lightning in a bottle. <laughs> Um, so are you, 
I mean, I, I, I will just say, I, I really hope I get that opportunity of a lifetime to go to WWE because that is like a billion dollars or I think it's, it's, if it's not a billion dollars because it's a billion dollar industry, the WWE merchandise, tickets, talent, everything. I think it all cost a billion dollars because of all the like search, the championships, the money in the bank briefcase, all the stuff. I guess it costs totally a billion dollars, which is I could retire at a young age and work for them. I don't know, maybe I won't retire because maybe or maybe I will work for them free time as a freelance in the WWE because I like, I like big men. I want, 